My name is Lorna Patrick and I'm a fish and wildlife biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in Panama City, Florida. We know that our nests that are being laid by sea turtles on our beaches this year um, to release the hatchlings out into the Gulf of Mexico would mean a certain death for them. Sea turtles use magnetic orientation so they know where they are on earth and to come back to their beaches to nest again, much like a bird does, but only in the water. And what they do in order to form that magnetic orientation in their brains, they must sit in their native beaches a certain amount of time. And so we are making sure we're leaving the turtles in their nests on the beach till their late incubation stage. And another important reason we leave the sea turtles on the beach to late incubation is they need to imprint on the native sands of their beaches. That also helps the females come back to the nesting beach. And so it's very important that we keep them as long as possible on the beach. Thirdly, the temperature determines the sex of the hatchling. Girls are hot, boys are cool. That's how we remember how the temperature affects sea turtles. So normally in nature, it's a 50-50 um, ratio from males to females. So we want to maintain that. So we have to be very careful that when we take them out of the, the beach, off the sand, that we keep them in coolers and we transport them in temperature controlled vehicles to the East Coast. It's an extraordinary story as I've learned something about it. Um, to think that it takes at least 35 years for these uh, turtles to reach mature reproductive uh, points. So we really won't know for 35 years whether or more, whether this has been a successful experiment. But to take these 100,000 eggs or roughly and, and to relocate them, it's a desperate measure in some respects, but it's a measure that is called for. It's a consensus in the science community that it's the right thing to do. So we're, I think we're all here very hopeful, we're very excited. But again, the backdrop to all this is this great uh, environmental tragedy that causes us to have to take these steps. It's a very complicated and logistically um, hard process to do this. It's not one we take lightly and it's not one we would ever do except under these very extraordinary circumstances. We know that they may not imprint enough on the Gulf of Mexico beaches and we may actually lose this generation of sea turtles to the East Coast. It's a risk we have to take because we know taking them and letting them go out into the Gulf of Mexico, they will certainly die. So at least we'll minimize that risk by allowing them to have a fighting chance to be released on the Atlantic coast of Florida. They're just highly vulnerable. I mean, it's almost like they were tailor-made to be at risk for this kind of scenario. And so we felt like there wasn't much choice. I mean, you know, it's a, it is a risk, but, but the downside is, is much worse. We consider this a rescue effort for our sea turtles here in the Panhandle of Florida and Alabama. It's really the only bright spot we see um, to give these sea turtles a fighting chance to survive for this generation to make it. <laughs>